What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel and to episode 44 of Let's Play RSC Preservation. I'm Twinrova and this is my Iron Man account, Feldemar. In the last episode, we worked on the Knight's Sword Quest. Oh, Green Day, nice. Looking sick. We worked on um, the Knight's Sword Quest and where, when we left off, we had bribed Thurgo the Encando Dwarf, with a red berry pie so that he would make a sword for us. Why did we need him to make us a sword? Well, because a squire in Falador lost his knight's sword, uh, an heirloom that had been passed down for generations, and frantically needs help replacing it with a sword that looks just like the original. Um, I guess the sword could only be cr uh, crafted by an Encando Dwarf. So there we were, bribing Thurgo with some pie, um, to create a sword for us. And the last thing that he told us in the at the end of the last session was that he needed that every white knight's sword is different. Um, they're all crafted a little different. So he needs to see what the sword looks like. He needs some kind of image of the sword to go off of so that he can recreate a new one for our dear squire in, uh, in trouble. So um, we're going to kick off this session by heading to the squire in Falador and yeah basically asking him like hey do you have any kind of oh we're at the Remington mine I need to take this road north do you have any kind of image <laughs> that we can use uh, to for Thurgo to understand what the sword looks like and I have no idea how maybe there's a there's no way there's a mold for a sword that's like crafted uniquely maybe there's oh okay memory's coming back to me I think there's going to be a painting. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, I think there's going to be a painting of the sword somewhere, and that is what uh, Thurgo is going to have to go off of. Yeah, I bet that's how this is going to go down. Which is cool. Check out all of these completed quests. We are making some progress towards the Cape of Legends, which is a goal that I was not able to accomplish on the official RuneScape Classic servers, so I am so happy that RSC Preservation exists so that I can continue my classic journey towards the Cape of Legends for the first time. And I'm also super excited to be sharing all of these moments with you. It has been a blast um, hearing all of your uh, comments and feedback. Basically, better methods to train, fun facts, tips and tricks. Uh, I've learned so much about RuneScape um, from all of you that watch and follow along and comment. And yeah, I just, I really appreciate you all. Ooh, we've got another player here. RuneScape Classic Preservation is popping. Like, honestly, there's so much going on. There's a white knight. Let's talk to the squire. So how are you doing getting a sword? I found an Encando dwarf, but he needs a picture of the sword before he can make it. A picture, eh? Well, the only one I can think of is in a small portrait of Sir Vivin's father. Sir Vivin keeps it in a cupboard in his room, I think. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, it's a Sir Vivin, Sir Vivin, right? <laughs> Surviving. I don't know why I say surviving. Um, yeah, surviving keeps a portrait of his father with the sword. Yeah, I forget. It's it's passed down through generations, so it doesn't have to be a picture, uh, a portrait of the sword recently. So you need to, f to find a bedroom with a cupboard in it. Okay, and I am playing on mobile today. Um, I am traveling for work this week, so if you're watching this uh, live on the premiere, just know that I'm I'm out, so I'm probably going to have to play mobile for most of this week, and that will probably largely consist of preservation rather than 2001 Scape, so uh, get ready for a stream of RSC preservation content this week. Ooh, yeah, this has to be it. Surviving one of the White Knights of Falador. Why don't we just talk to him? to start. Hello. Greetings, traveler. Do you have anything to trade? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Hello. 
Let's try the other option. Greetings, traveler. Why are there so many knights in the city? Ooh, misfire. There we go. Why are there so many knights in the city? We are the White Knights of Falador. We are the most powerful order of knights in the land. We are helping the King Valance rule the kingdom as he is getting old and tired. Interesting. King Valance rules... What is this? Falador. Uh, Isgarnia? So the King of Isgarnia? King Valen is tired. Interesting. Is the King... Okay. Lore, lore hounds here. Um, help me out with this. The kingdom of Mistelin, right? Lumbridge, Draenor, Edgeville, all of those places. It was ruled by uh, King Reldo and Verok. Not King Reldo, King Rowald. Oh my gosh, Reldo's the librarian. It's close though. King Rold in Verok. We've got Ardun, right? And I believe that's Kandarin, and it has its own king in Ardun. And you've got the whole. Ardun East versus Ardun West situation going on. And then we have Esgarnia. And my question is, is Esgarnia's capital Falador? Is that right? Is the king here? Where can I find the king? I'm so interested. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the king of uh, Esgarnia is. That is... Interesting. Like, Remington would be Asgarnia, right? Oh, I didn't get the portrait. We need the portrait. I was so... Just like, hmm, by his words. Who did he say the king was? Let's see. King's name is Valance. Super interesting. Okay. Well, uh, let's search your cupboard, home dude. Hey, what are you doing? That's my cupboard. Maybe you need to get someone to distract surviving for you. Ooh, interesting. Someone. Do we need... What's our fatigue at right now? Zero? Yeah, we don't need to sleep. Okay. So we can't just steal it. We need to get someone to distract him for us. Okay, why don't I talk to the squire again? That's like the obvious choice. Let's see if he can be helpful. So how are you doing getting a sword? Oh, it's all the same stuff. Keeps it in a cupboard in his room. Man, do I need another player for this? To, like, talk to him while I'm... <laughs> While I search the cupboard. Or maybe to have someone stand in here with like a uh, black knight armor. Would that like trigger him like aggro or something? Maybe you need to get someone to distract surviving for you. Yeah, let's see. Is there, is there still a player down here? Let's see if we can find... A player nearby typing on mobile is gonna be hard because I am elderly and can't type anymore apparently <laughs> all the highway make keeps in my inventory okay who could distract surviving for me There's a person. Would you care Let's see. Ooh, okay. I can uh, sp uh spool up a message. Hi. Would you here to distract what thrilling gameplay watching me type packet keys on mobile um sir vivin 
for me for the knight sword quest. All right, we've only got one shot at this, y'all. <laughs> I cannot type that out five times on mobile. All right, here we go. Here's our chance. Oh. Let's see what he says. Yay. Okay. Thank you so much. Just uh have to talk to to him goodness thank you so much just have to talk to him um let's see up here and up here All right. Yes, certainly. Would it worked? Would it worked? And yes, hundred percent. That is Graplex parts. Whoops. Dang. In titles? Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. Thank you so much for the help adding you. Graplex parts. Woot. Awesome. Okay, we got the portrait. Perfect. Yay. Yeah, so you just need to get a player to um, talk to survive in. He won't... Let you steal from his cupboard without a... Oh, let's see if there's enough letters for this. Distraction. Yeah. Which is so funny. And I'm glad that there's a lot of people playing uh, Preservation right now. Because it made it really easy. To find somebody. Shout out Graplex Parts. Thanks for the help. We're going to head back to Thurgo and hopefully he can help us make a sword. I mean, our skills are 
doing pretty okay. Let's see. Herb Law's at one. Agility's at one. Man, it's like we've got lots of uh, skills over 10, which is awesome. Okay, this looks like Port Serum, so we need to go around onto the east side. I was just watching a really interesting video on RuneScape. Let's see, I think it was by Marstead. I'm probably getting that wrong. I think it's Marstead on YouTube. But it's like three hours of why RuneScape is awesome. And it's someone that didn't start playing until 2018. And it is it is such a great video. Um, I highly recommend it. Basically just breaking down why RuneScape is not an MMO. And it is an MMO. And he, he will admit that. But... He basically classes RuneScape into a game that's like the only major title ever created. Its own kind of separate type of MMO. And it's super interesting um, and pretty compelling, honestly, so I would highly recommend checking that out. Okay. Hey, Thurgo. I was looking for the ladder, but it's actually Thurgo that I need to talk to. Alright. I found a picture of the sword I would like you to make. You give the portrait to Thurgo. Thurgo studies the portrait. Okay, you'll need to get some. give me some stuff for me to make this. I need two iron bars to make the sword to start with. I also need an ore called Blurite. It's useless for making actual weapons for fighting with, but I'll need some as decoration for the hilt. It's a fairly rare sort of ore. The only place I know where to get it is under this cliff here. It is guarded by a very powerful ice giant. Most of the rocks on that cliff are pretty useless. Don't contain much of anything. But there's definitely some Blurite in there. You'll need a little bit of mining experience to be able to find it. Okay, I'll go and find them. Dang. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a real challenge. Okay, do I have a pickaxe on me? I do not. Uh, but this is not 2001 Scape, so I have a bank. So I can go check my bank for a pickaxe. And <laughs> I'll have... See, did he ever message me back? No. Okay. I'll have more than just a normal pickaxe. Green day. Heading to the ice cave. Oh, maybe I can take advantage of like another player being in there grinding. That would be useful. Like to run distraction. Again. Have another player helping me out. I don't know why I keep running over to Remington. I think I'm just following this little dirt path for some reason. Look, another player hanging on the mines. Punks. Punks and Green Day. <laughs> yeah, this is epic. There are so many people playing Preservation now. It's so fun. I think there's like, you know, near 100 players online most of the time. Like 80 to 100 which is honestly good for a RuneScape Classic, like, private server. Like, that's awesome. Love that the server population has grown. Happy to be a part of this community. It's really such a great one. Okay, here's the bank. Let's head in here. Wow, all the people in the bank. Nice. Look at that person with the rune. That's sick. I'd like to access my bank account, please. Certainly, sir. Okay. Now, I don't, I'm not using the RSC Plus client because I'm playing on mobile. So I don't have all of the nice um, bank interface improvements. But I do actually have a bank that's not just storing gold, like 2001 Scape. So that is... Uh, definitely improvement. Look at that garlic that took me so long to find. Okay, let's start by depositing more Howie Man capes. We've got a nice little stack growing there up to 21. And we've got some stuff to sell. We've got a lot of, of um, herbs, actually, that we could use to train Herblaw. That is pretty cool. Let's see, here is a bronze pickaxe, but is that really all we have? I'm wielding full mithril. 
with a mithril battle axe and an iron square shield. Which the iron square shield, right, is the best that you can purchase from a store, maybe? I don't know if maybe in the Champions Guild, um, they might have a... Mm, no, I don't know. I was thinking that maybe there was a shop that sells better shields, but I think it's just plate bodies, maybe, in the Champions Guild. I don't know, we're, we're going to have to uh, figure that out when we, when we make it there someday. Okay, I'm just looking around to double check I don't have a better pickaxe than bronze, because we can go buy a better one. Because why not, right? Yeah, let's withdraw the bronze pickaxe anyway. <laughs> Gnome's hat. Don't think we're going to need a rope. We can deposit that. You've got the amulet of accuracy. Yeah, why don't we withdraw some money? Like... Let's see. Four... Uh, five, two, is that right? I didn't really pay attention. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go buy a better pickaxe in the Dwarven Mines. Let's see, our mining level is 26. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure... I don't remember if there's like a level requirement for wielding certain pickaxes. But I would guess that bronze and iron are probably like level 1. Or bronze and iron are 1 and 10. Steel would be 20 or 10. 10 or 20. Mithril would be... I think it would make sense for mithril to be 30 actually. So it could be... 10 for iron, 20 for steel, 30 for mithril. So I don't know, maybe we buy a steel pickaxe and just see. And I'm pretty sure we can buy a steel pickaxe in the dwarven mine from the guy. I think we talked to them in the last episode that sells pickaxes. I love that we can wear the gnome hat. That is freaking funny, honestly. <laughs> what fashion scape is this? Like, come on. Can you beat it? I don't know. I don't know if you can. JK, I know that all of my viewers are also fashion scapeanistas. present like from the from when I was recording in Christmas time I use it on someone right yeah you use it on somebody else It'd be funny I should go randomly just use it on someone okay I need to go over here right the ladders in this building okay let's head down Okay, not there, but over here somewhere. We should have... Yeah, this guy. No, not the Dwarven Shopkeeper. Further along. This is a general store, which is nice because you can sell the drops that you get from the dwarves in here if you're training. Nermoff. Greetings, welcome to my pickaxe shop. Do you want to buy my premium quality pickaxes? Yes, please. Okay, mithril is 1300, steel is 500. Let's go for the 500. Oh, we can't equip it, right? But we can try to use it. Okay. Interesting. Let's uh, talk to Mer Nermoff. Will he actually take our bronze one? That would be useful. Do you want to buy my premium quality pickaxes? Yes, please. If I can click properly. Check it out. It's the pie dish that I couldn't find. 
that I finally found. Thanks, Retro. Okay, just out of curiosity, let's do a little comparison here. Um, bronze pickaxe right now is zero GP. Really? You can just have a bronze pickaxe? They're that worthless? Okay. Iron for 140, steel for 500, metal for 1300, adamantite for 3200, and a rune pickaxe for 32,000 GP. Oh my gosh, what a flex. Dropping 32k on a pickaxe. Wow. I bet that's basically necessary, though, for a 99 grind. Wow, now I'm really wishing that I uh, used the present on grapple X parts. Yeah, that would have been uh, smart, actually. Just to repay the favor. Which I guess I might um, be repaying the favor by helping distract him, uh, surviving in his quest. Look at all the green. I love seeing all the green, all the completed quests. We are on our way. Moving up in the World of RuneScape Classic, we are definitely further along in questing than I ever reached on the official RuneScape Classic servers. Now, of course, I've played through every one of these quests on, um, I believe every one of these quests on RuneScape 3, and I would have played them during the RuneScape 2 era. We've got plenty of food, so that's good. We get iron. We can get iron in the Remington Mine. That'll be a good spot. And we've done Dork's Quest, right? So we have access to those anvils. That is nice. That is very nice. So we're going to need to bring two iron bars and then blurite ore. And the, the challenge here is going to be getting the blurite. So we might as well just focus on that, I guess. Now that we have the pickaxe. Improved pickaxe. We can just pop down into the dungeon and see what we can find. It might take a few trips. Might need to prepare more thoroughly for this. But we're going to give it a try. MTG. It's so fun. There are so many players online. I feel like there's a pretty good chance that someone is at uh, the Asgardian Ice Dungeon. We saw someone running that way earlier in the episode. But there's no guarantee that they're still there, and there's no guarantee that they're fighting ice giants to distract them, if they are. I see my combat level 33. That's not so bad. Attack of 30, defense 28, strength 30. Yeah, that's not so bad. That could be worse. We could totally grind that. And get that up. But we're not going to be ready for an ice giant. What is our hits at? 29? So I think, look at that person with the all black. Who is that? Nate? Nice. You need an axe to chop the tree down. Yeah, so the ice giants won't be able to three hit us, I don't think. I think they can hit a seven. At least in 2001 scape, I think they can hit a, a 7. And this dungeon, the Ice Giants, is like end-game content in 2001 scape. That's like the end of the PVM journey, once you can kill Ice Giants. Which is cool. On Preservation, of course, it's the, the King Black Dragon. Significantly more formidable, right? Okay. Yeah, it's nice that there's that little uh, temple 
so close to the dungeon so you could come out and recharge your prayer points. Which is awesome. Yeah, okay, let's uh, climb down the ladder and see what happens. I think there's like pirates on the entrance. No, muggers. So muggers are low level for compared to us. Let's, uh, yeah, actually put our mithril helm on. Next we have pirates and someone's grinding on them. Nice. Green <coughs> Let's turn that down a bit. It's quite low. <laughs> on my end. Why not get the XP? Since we already hit them so hard. Not gonna crash your spot though, don't worry. Hey, a five. Nice. Let's go. Okay, let's move on to the hobgoblins. Which should also aggro on us. And then in the next room, there are ice giants. And ice warriors, too. I probably don't want to like actually clear all of these out. There we go. Let's try to get the kill on defensive mode. Oh no! Okay, so it's that hobgoblin. Dang, that's running away. This one. Yeah, I want the defensive XP. There we go. Ooh, what did he drop? Limpwort root, nice for a strength potion. Cool. Bury the bones. Did I? Ugh. No, I didn't get it. I gotta survive the three hits again. Take limpwort root. Yep. Let's eat. Yeah, we're going to definitely get some defensive XP here. Okay, there are some ores in the room. I bet the closest one is not it. I also wonder if we need, if we even have the mining level that we need for this. How tough are these guys? 57? Yeah, they're going to kick our butts. The question is, will they three hit us? I don't know about that. Our hits are at 23 out of 29. Suboptimal. Okay, what do we got going on? Yeah, I bet the blurite is like somewhere across the room. That's my guess. Let's see if we get three hit by an ice warrior. You fail to find anything interesting, but does that mean that we're not high enough level? Or does it mean that there's nothing there? Oh. Oh, hey. Nice. Let's still flee, though. Let's not. Dang. Man, he hits pretty hard. The four and the five. Yeah, that's good. Cool. We will KO. Man, that's going to take a lot of food. Okay, you fail to find anything interesting makes me think that it's... too high of a level for us. Oh, did it aggro? No. But the hobgoblin did.
You obviously need combat XP. <laughs> we might need mining XP. I might need to grind mining to 30 and come back. Quite interesting. Trying to just min-max my combat style, right? I want to switch to defensive before they land the hit, and then switch to aggressive before I land the hit. Except at the end, we want to maximize the combat XP and the skill of our choice, which right now is defense. Okay. There's currently no ore available in this rock. Okay, so I'm, I shouldn't be trying to prospect it. I should be trying to mine it. Yeah, okay, so that's a better answer. That's a better answer. There's no ore available in either one of these rocks. So I just need to go try to mine different rocks over here. Okay, so I can wait for it to be, like, clear. And go try deeper ores. Ooh, those ice giants are terrifying. It's kind of clear on the side for a second. Not for long, though. Ooh, okay. Okay, we took three hits. So let's go mine this rock. No ore in that rock. It's cool when we hit a five on them. Oh, it's that one. We can see it. We can see it. Ooh, are we going to tank from an ice giant? Let's get right here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Woo! Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, intercepted. But we didn't get hit by an ice giant, and that is great. Ooh, taking damage. Get the pie. Oh, don't get three hit by a freaking ice giant, ice warrior. <laughs> Ugh. I'm so happy we got the ore, though. Okay, we're out. I really hope that one blurite ore is enough. Hopefully it is. Hello. Okay, we're going to kill it, so we can risk it. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. What is that? Very interesting. That is a eye patch. Wow, nice. That's cool. Oh, is that what Beast Fable wears? Yeah, that's what Beast Fable wears. I think. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, we now have blurite ore. We just need two iron bars next. Yeah, which we can get from the... Uh, we can get iron ore in Remington. Which will be perfect. Since we're so close. Yeah, we came away with some blurite ore. Let's freaking go. Yeah, that was terrifying. We got really lucky with the positioning of the giants there. And I was uh, prospecting everything because in 2001 Scape, which I've been playing a lot of, 
all the ores are the same color. So I wasn't thinking that I could go look for better ore. Or look for the color of the ore. Oh my gosh, and I was spam clicking the rock, but look, um, I, I can have multiple attempts. Oh, this is copper. We don't need that. We need iron. Is that an iron rock? Oh, that's clay, I bet. But that's iron where this guy was standing. Makes more sense. We get three attempts with his pickaxe. That's nice. Very cool. We should probably get two tin to round out the <laughs> copper that we accidentally picked up. Just to balance it out. So if that's copper, then this is probably tin. Yep. Let that respawn. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, now we can take it to the furnace. Um, which I actually, I, I need to drop and uh, head to work. So I'm going to call it here. But this has been, uh, this has been a ton of fun. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. In today's episode, we managed to track down an image of the Night Sword, right? So we talked to the Squire. Um, he told us that Surviving keeps a, a picture of the Night Sword in a cupboard upstairs. Uh, we needed help. Right, we needed support um, from another player to distract Surviving while we stole from the we stole the portrait from the cupboard. So huge shout out to Graplex Parts um, for randomly standing in the Falador East Bank and answering my call for help. That was really really great, and I appreciate that so much. Huge shout out. So we're able to do that. We went over to Thurgo, and yeah, he, he says he can make the sword, but he needs iron bars and blurite ore. Um, yeah, which blurite ore is in the Asgardian Ice Dungeon, surrounded by a bunch of ice warriors and some ice giants, which is terrifying. We went there, and we figured it out. We found the blurite ore, got really lucky with the giant placement, and managed to walk out alive, with all of our food gone, but still alive, with the blurite ore, which is excellent. Um, yeah, we mined some irons so that we can try to make some iron bars. And in the next episode, we will continue uh, with our uh, Knight Sword quest completion. So that is basically just going to be making these iron bars, bringing them back to Thurgo. And yeah, after that, we will probably carry on with questing. You know, the goal is to enter the, what is it, the Legends Guild to have the Cape of Legends. So that is the plan. Um yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button and sub to subscribe for more RuneScape and other retro RPG content. I'm Twinrova. This has been Let's Play RSC Preservation, episode 44. Until the next episode, happy scaping and fight on.